It is July 28th, 2023, and you're watching The Code Report. You might want to be sitting down, because I've got some big news for you. Aliens are real, according to government whistleblowers. Do we have the bodies of the pilots who piloted this craft? Uh, biologics came with some of these recoveries, yeah. Were they, I guess, human or non-human biologics? Non-human. Non-human. <laughs> What's even weirder, though, is that they recovered this strange code from their spacecraft. It was so disturbing, in fact, that they posted it to Stack Overflow, but it was immediately closed as duplicate because it looks so similar to another language that I won't name. If you're an elderly programmer born before 2022, you might remember a website called Stack Overflow. When it launched in 2008, it revolutionized the programming world by allowing the average person to build complex software by simply Googling and copying and pasting code from this website. It accelerated Atwood's law, stating that any application that can be written in JavaScript will eventually be written in JavaScript, which is actually a law formed by Jeff Atwood, one of Stack Overflow's co-founders, that's been proven true by science time and time again. As programmers, we all owe a huge debt of gratitude to all the Stack Overflow contributors. Without their selfless contributions, it'd be nearly impossible for us to build our failed side projects. Stack Overflow has been a huge success for one simple reason. People will do anything for fake internet points. Having high Stack Overflow rep is like the ultimate clout for a programmer. You walk into a C-sharp conference with 100,000 Stack Overflow rep, you'll be mobbed by clout chasers who would literally do just to get into your LinkedIn network. And when you surpass a million rep, people will start to name their kids after you, like little baby Skeet here. But the golden age of Stack Overflow has come to an end, and over the last six months, traffic to the site has tanked. Before I explain why and what they're doing about it though, I want to show you an awesome open source product from our sponsor, Graphbase. The hardest thing about building a full stack application is not the front end or the back end, it's getting the two of them to talk to each other. Graphbase can take multiple data sources and stitch them together into a unified GraphQL API, allowing you to access your data from any front end with type safety and IntelliSense. What I especially like is that it uses TypeScript for configuration instead of error-prone YAML, and provides GraphQL directives to make it easy to build out your schema. And its open API connector can easily integrate any RESTful API. Under the hood, it's built with Rust and can be run locally with a single command, and is one of the only solutions out there that can be deployed to the edge, allowing you to easily cache data and run resolvers globally. If you're building a serious application, you'll definitely want to have GraphBase on your radar. Now back to Stack Overflow, traffic and overall engagement has declined nearly 50 percent over the last year, based on data from the website itself that was leaked by someone with over 25,000 rep. But what's behind this shocking decline? Well, I think we all know the reason. In Japan, they call it Orokona Haribato, also known as artificial intelligence. ChatGPT basically took all of Stack Overflow's content and reflects it back to you in ways that are custom tailored for your use case. It's pretty clear that the copy and paste engineer is being replaced by the primped engineer. If I were to guess, I'd say my Stack Overflow usage has declined about 60 to 70 percent with the rise of AI tooling over the last year. For many, though, this is poetic justice. Stack Overflow is littered with bodies of wannabe programmers who quit learning to code after their first well-thought-out question was downvoted, insulted, and closed by the high-value alpha coders. Well, as of yesterday, Stack Overflow announced Overflow AI, a new generative AI tool that can create answers based on the Stack Overflow dataset. But it begs the question, if I'm someone who answers programming questions all day, why would I continue doing that when AI is using my content and stealing all my clout? On top of that, all the other big LLMs like GPT-4 already drank the Stack Overflow milkshake and used all that data when training their models. To understand the situation more clearly, we can look to Mother Nature. In the desert, when a snake becomes extremely hungry and stressed, it may begin to consume itself in desperation. But obviously this can't go on forever. And it's not just Stack Overflow. AI is the final frontier for humanity, and coincidentally you can't spell alien without AI. Funny how they both appear at the same time after millions of years. This has been The Code Report, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.